the full jigsaw. And it's all Scampy's fault. That's next. We didn't put on there because, well, it's older than 30 years. Do you know Sooty's 40? If you were watching last week, you'll know he is. And it's still around. Crazes in your house, you know, when everybody in the family starts to do the same thing, like uh, like finger painting or cutting out or riding bicycles. Well, this house is no different, and this is our latest craze. Look, jigsaw puzzles. But we're all at it, you know. Me, sooty, sweet. Sue's already finished hers, and I've jolly nearly finished this one. I love jigsaw puzzles. And yet, at the same time, I hate them. They can drive you absolutely bonkers. This has taken me the best part of a week to do this, you know. Morning, Matthew. Oh, hi, Sue. Mind the jigsaw. Steady, steady, steady. What can I do for you? Well, I was wondering if you'd seen a piece of sky anywhere, because Sooty's lost one. Uh, well, I haven't. A piece of sky? Yes. <laughs> Sue, listen, listen. You can have a piece of cake. You can also have a piece of cloth. Mm -hmm. You could even have a piece of advice. But the one thing you can't have... And the one thing you could never, ever have is a piece of sky. Of course you can, Matthew. It's a piece of sky about, well, three centimetres across with knobbly bits on, like this. Oh. Actually, the one sooty has lost is bright blue, and it's got quite a lot of cloud going across one corner. Yeah, now I understand, So You're talking about jigsaw pieces, yes. aren't you? Yes. What, and sooty's lost a piece of jigsaw with sky on it? Yes, like I said, a piece of sky. Oh, poor old sooty. That must be terrible, losing a piece of your jigsaw. Where is he? Well, he's having a look in the attic. That's where we found all these puzzles, wasn't it? Yes. I wonder how he's getting on. Well, like most people's attics, the one at Sooty's place is full of old boxes, which are full of toys that don't work anymore. There's an old vacuum cleaner, a tailor's dummy, an old radio, and, of course, old jigsaws. But right now, Sooty's got a bit sidetracked. He's meant to be looking for a piece of sky. But he seems more interested in these old toys. Let's see if they still work. Oh, well, that one seems to work. Sooty gets another one. Let's see if this one works, shall we? Push it down and... <laughs> oh, he's going to get it back again. Push it down, Sooty. Oh, steady. Push it down and... Wait for it. <laughs> there it goes. Now, here's a change. The old chattering teeth. <laughs> Sooty finds them extremely funny. Let's get something else. What's this? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. He's fallen over. Let's get rid of him. Push him to one side. And here's another one. Whoops. Steady, steady, he's fallen on the floor. Look at that. Oh, he stopped, but here's a here's another one. There certainly are plenty of old toys, aren't there? Oh, and here's the duck again. Steady, off he goes. <laughs> What's this? Well, Sooty's clearing them to one side because here comes another old toy. Look at this. <laughs> Hang on. He seems to have got a bit stuck. Clear him out of the way. Whoops. 
Well, that's one way of doing it, I suppose. Now, oh, look at this coming up. What is it? It's a dinosaur toy. Ooh, it's pretty frightening. Look at Sooty shaking. Uh, that's enough of that, says Sooty. I really must find this missing piece of jigsaw. Just then, he sees something which makes him forget his piece of sky. This American police car. It used to be one of Sooty's favorite toys. But unfortunately, it's been broken for quite some time. It'll never work again. Unless... Aha! The trusty magic wand. Well, that was fun, thought Sooty. But it hasn't helped to find my piece of sky. I wonder where it could be. Sooty uses his torch to look around the dusty old loft. Not there. Not there either. Then suddenly, he sees it. A small box, high up on top of the other boxes, and written on the front, the words, odd jigsaw bits, especially pieces of sky. All he has to do is to get that box down. How is he going to do it? Ah-ha-ha! Ha, the very thing! That's where that piece goes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi, sweet. I just a minute. You arrive at a very, very important moment. Just don't, don't disturb me. I know where this one goes. I've been saving that one. Uh, that goes there. Uh, this, this pink one. Just, just a minute. Just a minute. This goes there. Uh, it must be this. Oh, well, oh, well, like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. I've done it. I've done it. I've finished. Apart from this one piece. Apart from this one final piece, I finished my jigsaw. Are you impressed, Sweep? <laughs> not really. <laughs> what do you mean, not really? Well, how are you getting on with your jigsaw? <laughs> You've only got a dozen pieces left. <laughs> well, yeah, that's pretty impressive. However, you cannot beat me because I just need to put this one piece in and I will be the first person in the house to finish their jigsaw. <laughs> apart from Sue. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, all right, apart from Sue. I'll be the first of the lads to finish the jigsaw. By the way, why are you standing in my bedroom holding that thing full of pepper? <laughs> you want some on your breakfast? <laughs> but you can't open it. <laughs> well, where, where's Sooty? <laughs> He's looking for a piece of sky. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Well, Sue? <laughs> in the bath? <laughs> all right, sweep, all right. I'll open it for you. And just because it's you, I shall put off completing my jigsaw. Oh, mm. it's extremely... Right, there's the pepper. Okay, and now, stand by, I'm going to complete my jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> what, sweet, what? <laughs> I'm sure that it's pepper. Mm. Of course I'm sure that it's pepper. It says so on the front of the container. <laughs> it's a different colour. 
Yeah, well, the pepper that you're used to is white pepper. That happens to be black pepper, but they're very similar, sweet. Almost the same. Can you smell it then? Look, sweet, don't put your nose. Sweet, don't put your nose in it, you silly dog. Oh look, he's going to sneeze now. Don't sneeze anywhere near my jigsaw. Go over there if you want to sneeze. Look. You foolish dog. Anyway, if you're quite finished, just stand by. Stand by for the big moment. I'm just going to pop. Pop. Stop. like a nice warm bath to relax you, is there, Derek? You know, Derek, I've been thinking about Sooty and his piece of sky. I know that jigsaw was complete last week because I did it. Can't work out how a piece could get lost. Aha! Uh -huh, unless somebody moved it. But, but that's silly. Now, where did I put that bath cleaning fluid? I'm sure I left it... Oh, it's probably in the shower. Ah! There's someone hiding in the shower cabinet. It's a teddy bear. <gasps> and it isn't sooty. Oh, it's you, little cousin Scampy. And just why are you hiding? Are you in some sort of trouble? Mm, I thought so. Have you been a bit naughty? Just a minute. I'm just putting two and two together, and I wonder if I'll come up with four. Um, <clears throat> little cousin Scampy, this naughty thing you've just done, it couldn't by any chance have something to do with jigsaws, could it? Hmm. Could it have something to do with a piece of sky? You've taken it, haven't you? As a joke? Hmm. And are you going to tell Auntie Sue where you've put it? No. No! Well, in that case, you can stew in your own juice. Oh, and for your own information, that piece of sky had clouds on it, and you know what that means, don't you? Well, it means it might well rain. Couldn't happen to a nicer bear, if you ask me. Fancy it being him who's taken Sooty's piece of sky. So, no wonder Sooty can't find his piece of sky. Little cousin Scampy has moved it. But Sooty doesn't know that yet. <coughs> oh, I've finished, I've finished, says Sweep. And sure enough, he has. Sweeps the first to finish. And poor old Sooty doesn't stand a chance because of his missing piece of sky. But being a good sport, Sooty goes to admire Sweep's work. Well, yes, it's all here, says Sooty. Congratulations. Uh, just a minute. What's this? What is this? Asks Sooty. A spare bit? says Sweep. It's not a spare bit, Sweep. It's a stolen bit. Look at that. It fits. Sooty has found his stolen piece of sky. You did this, says Sooty. You stole my piece of sky. I didn't. I didn't, protests Sweep. But Sooty is really cross. He's going to pay Sweep back tit for tat. If I had to put up with a missing piece because of you, says Sooty, then you can put up with a missing piece because of me. Sooty's thrown it out the window? What's Sooty thrown out of the window, sweet? Your piece of puzzle? Oh, oh, I think I've arrived too late. Why did you do that, Sooty? Because it was Sweep who stole your piece of sky? No, it wasn't. That was little cousin Scampy. He's the one who took your piece of sky. He did it for a prank. <laughs> what about your piece? <laughs> well, Sooty, that's your responsibility. You were in the wrong, so you'd better get Sweet's piece of puzzle back. <laughs> it flew out of the window. <laughs> well, let's go and see if we can see it. I can't see it anywhere. It must have flown in the... <laughs> Is there? Where's Sweet? Where? Yes, Sooty, I can see it. Just look where it's landed. <laughs> it's landed on that little doggy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, get it, Sooty. You threw it. You must get it back. No worries, said Sooty. 
I'll just nip down and I'll... Uh-oh, uh, there it was. Gone. Not only has the dog gone, but also the piece of puzzle. What am I going to do now, thinks Sooty. Just then, in the distance, Sooty saw a beautiful sight. The little dog, complete with a piece of jigsaw. It's just a case of getting it now, thought Sooty. The little boy's leaving. Stop! 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 Shouts Sooty. Sooty never did have a very loud voice, and the little boy didn't hear. The chase was on again. Stop! Stop! Says Sooty. Please stop. The little boy is much too interested in having a go in the climbing frame to notice. I'll never get this piece of puzzle, thought Sooty. And then, just as the little boy reached the top, guess what happened? Oh no! What now? thinks Sooty. First of all, the little dog, then the little boy. Will I ever get this piece of jigsaw back? But he needn't have worried, because an old friend had come to the rescue. <laughs> Stay there, says Sooty. That's a very good little doggy. And at last, Sooty sets off home, clutching the missing piece of jigsaw. Do it. There we are, look at that, finished! <laughs> at long last. And actually, Sweep, you can finish now, now that Sooty's got your piece back at last. <laughs> You've had quite a time of it, haven't you, Sooty? Well, hmm? thank goodness he finally got it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell him. Sooty wants me to tell you, Sweep, that he's very sorry that he got angry and threw your piece out of the window. Anyway, he's got it at long last, so Sue, can you pass that up to Sweep? Mm. There we are. Well, it, it wasn't really Sooty's fault, was it, Mum? Uh, no, it <laughs> wasn't. You've already explained it was little cousin Scampy playing a trick. That's right. Well, I've got him here to do some apologising. <laughs> Come on up here, little cousin Scampy. You've got a lot of apologising to do. Go on, start now. I'm sorry about this, but he's definitely good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look. Now, there's a bone sweep. You oh. pass it up, Sue. That's my way of saying sorry. You're a lucky boy. <gasps> hey, look at this. You've got something. You've got a little jar of honey, Sooty. Look. <laughs> He's certainly making the right move. Oh, look. A little rose for you, Sue. Oh, isn't that Scampy, lovely? Scampy, you are a kind little soul. You it's are. Lovely. Isn't, isn't you? He? What? Do you want to smell it? Well, yes, I'd love to smell it, actually. Just a minute. What is it, Scampy? What? You've got to go now. But hang on. Scampy, wait. He's in a bit of a hurry. Yeah, yes, I'd love to smell the rose, Sue. Let mm. me... Because I do love smelling flat. Smells a bit peculiar, that. Mm. Actually, hang on. Somebody's put some... Put some pepper up. Mm. Pepper? Oh, oh, oh look! Oh. Look, we better say goodbye. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Uh, never mind sniggering, you lot. Give me a hand with this jigsaw. It took me hours to do this. We're going to have to start all. Wednesdays and now it's time for